I think some of the things that I don't even need to be aware of are just vile and disgusting. And it's not fair and no one ever should be spoken to in the manner that I've seen. The internet is full of haters. And with all the publicity and limelight that celebrities have, there also comes a load of hate and backlash over petty things. Most of the time, it's also pretty unwarranted. But it looks like Selena Gomez has had enough of it all. She has finally spoken out to defend Hailey Bieber from haters. But before we continue, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel so I can bring you the hottest tea every week. After Hailey Bieber denied snatching Justin Bieber from Selena Gomez in a popular podcast interview, Selena Gomez begged people to be kind the next day. While Selena did not specifically name Broadskin's creator in a TikTok live broadcast, she did say, I think some of the things that I don't even need to be aware of are just vile and disgusting. And it's not fair and no one ever should be spoken to and the manner that I've seen. The Only Murders in the Building actress went on to promote her new Good Words Matte lipstick by Rare Beauty, saying, It's incredibly ironic that I would release something that is all about kind words, because that's exactly what I want. If you support Rare, I cannot thank you enough, but know that you are also representing what it means, and that is words matter truly matter. To wrap off her statement, Selena Gomez said, that's coming from me. And she just wants all of you to know that she hopes that you understand that this is much bigger than anything else. She also added that she's really grateful to all of us for hearing her out. So have a wonderful rest of your day and that she appreciates all the love. But this isn't the first time Gomez defended Mrs. Bieber. It has been reported that even though she and Justin began dating in 2010 and after a rocky relationship that lasted until 2018, they have finally broken up, she's still looking after his wife. Relationship speculations between Bieber and Haley Baldwin, now Bieber, initially surfaced in November of 2014, shortly after the couple's second breakup. Despite the claims, Bieber nonetheless defended the model by calling her a wonderful buddy. After more than a year, in December of 2015, Bieber uploaded a photo of the two of them kissing. After spending Valentine's Day together in 2018, the couple split up again in March. However, in June, the sorry singer was photographed getting close to Baldwin, and in July, he proposed to her. They had their wedding in September. When they were first married, fans had a variety of emotions. The crowd's reaction to the couple's engagement varied, with some people thrilled for them and others not so. The model directly addressed the fans, saying, You don't have to like me, but you don't have to say anything either. Because behind this person that you're looking at on a screen is a person with a brain and a heart and emotions and issues that I face. And even back then, Selena told her fans not to be mean and was quiet as well. That isn't all. In 2020, Selena Gomez corrected the record. With the release of her new album, Rare, and the subsequent festivities, the 27-year-old pop diva found herself defending her ex-boyfriend, Justin Bieber's wife, Haley Baldwin, and their common friend, Madison Beer. Beer and Baldwin were seen at Craig's restaurant in West Hollywood over the weekend, coincident with Gomez's dinner party. Many of Beer's followers have taken sides in the debate about whether or not the chance encounter was staged to dampen Gomez's jubilation. Beer responded to the cruel comments by assuring the troll that she loves Gomez and would never do anything to hurt the singer's feelings. These rumors are getting insane. I just had dinner with my friend Haley of 10 years, and that's it. She wrote in her own comment section. How is that a crime? I love Selena, always have, as y'all know. And I would literally never in a million years try to upset her? That is just mean and unnecessary, and nothing happened. It was just a coincidence. You're bullying me for no reason. But what does it matter to Haley? Yes, following her wedding to Justin in 2018, the daughter of Stephen Baldwin said the internet vitriol grew so intense that she had very dark thoughts of suicide. In an intense program designed to help her work through her problems, Haley went back to therapy at the end of the previous year. So someone standing up for her must mean a lot. 
Anyway, with all that, let's call it a day. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week, where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities.